For the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, the team at Sony Pictures Imageworks built the planet-sized organic structure known as the Orgoscope. Given that it's built from a collage of internal organic parts, instead of more recognizable mechanical features, establishing its massive scale would prove difficult. The challenge was to ensure that pieces of the station were identifiable as muscle or bone in vast wide shots and tight close-ups. We solved this by taking a modular approach to the build, instancing sections of the environment and mixing and matching various shaders. In a sort of fractal strategy, we used large scale textures initially, but as you push into the environment, smaller scale textures are revealed. For Bone, a series of tests showed that we needed to manipulate the subsurface falloff, as real-world values didn't translate well when applied to structures that were as massive as the rings. We ended up applying this cheat repeatedly, basing the surface's effect on the distance to camera. The outer layer of muscle was a combination of colored muscle layers, noises, textures, and surface elements. As this amount of detail would overwhelm our modeling pipeline, we used our in-house proprietary instancers Sprout and Houdini to procedurally scatter objects and add detail. For additional control, passes of fat, fascia, and muscle were rendered in separate layers, allowing compers to dial in structures on a per-shot basis. To finish the look, our Imageworks artists added ground gases rising from cracks in the flesh and atmospheric effects, including mist, to help give the oroscope the feel of being a living environment. <laughs>